I have in my hands here an 85-page judgment from Ontario Court Judge Brent Nazan. I hope that's how I pronounce his name because it's a hell of a good judgment and I think a pretty important one. This is the so-called Twitter case where a man named Gregory, Gregory Allen Elliott was charged with criminal harassment for basically for tweet, tweeting two young women. Uh, I only saw one of them testify, Steph Guthrie, so I'll confine my remarks to uh, Ms. Guth Guthrie's uh, testimony. Anyway, um, it's a, it could have, I think, impinged on the freedom of expression, which is most rampant and evident on Twitter, as anybody who uses Twitter knows. Um, because if uh, Mr. Elliott had been found guilty of criminal, criminally harassing these two young women um, via tweets, I think it really would have sent a chill across uh, social media generally. It's the, I think, the first case in the country which deals with alleged harassment via Twitter. Anyway, um, it's a very reasonable judgment, I think, a really good one. It, it goes on and on a bit much, as judges tend to do. Um, but the judge, first of all, familiarized himself uh, with Twitter. He wasn't uh, familiar with it before and learned a lot about it and how it works. And what he concludes, basically, um, is that Twitter is a wide open medium. And once you uh, keep your, as long as you keep your Twitter account open, you have no right to control what other people do with it. In other words, they can tweet you, they can create hashtags or use hashtags that you've created to communicate with you indirectly or directly. There was never any evidence and nor suggestion of complaint that Mr. Elliott had ever been sexually inappropriate with these two young women. He was rude sometimes and crude sometimes, but so were they on occasion, back to him. What I really like about the judgment is how the judge is uh, I think he reacted to Steph Guthrie the way I did. I think he found her a credible witness. He says that he accepts uh, that she was afraid, uh, frightened, not by anything Mr. Elliott said, but by being sort of creeped around by him. But he said her fear isn't reasonable, um, and the fear for criminal harassment to be borne out has to be reasonable. It has to be. Um, something that you or I would be f genuinely frightened for. Um, and he found that she was genuinely worried for her safety, but that she was uh, being unreasonable to worry about it. Twitter is a wide open world. It's sometimes a mean world. It can be all of those things. And Steph Guthrie, I thought, was a wonderful witness and is a wonderful young woman. She's an activist and a feminist in Toronto. Uh, tough girl. Uh, I admire her greatly, uh, but I think she was wrong, and I think the judge, what the judge is saying today is that she was wrong. She wasn't being harassed by Greg Elliott just because he disagreed with her, just because he used hashtags she created. It's a free-for-all out there on social media, essentially, the judge said, and if you're going to be out there using it, you're going to get things you don't like, and you're going to hear opinions you disagree with, and you better suck it up. That suck it up buttercup, I think, is the respectful message of this judgment.